Yo, what is up guys? Oscar here with a new video. So, I'm going to be, in this video, I'll be discussing Real Madrid versus Valencia, their second matchup of the La Liga season. So this corresponds with game match 23 for the La Liga tournament. And Real Madrid has a 19-man squad. Some good news here that Dani Carvajal and um, Dani Carvajal and um, Lucas Vasquez return after being out for a few weeks with injury. So the full squad is as follows: goalkeepers Thibaut Courtois, Andre Lunin, Diego Altub, defenders Dani Carvajal, Rafael Varane, Nacho Fernandez, Ferlin Mendy, Victor Chust, Miguel Gutierrez. The midfielders are as follows. Tony Cross, Luca Modric, Casemiro, Isco, Sergio Arribas. Forwards, Karim Benzema, Marco Asensio, Lucas Vasquez, and Vinicius Jr. and Mariano. So, the lineup pretty much speaks for itself. Now that we are, now, Real, now that Real Madrid is healthy, even though Zidane, I gotta give credit to Zidane where credit is due. Last game, he was so creative. Um... He was he made it he made a change a three four three formation, um, but due to the injuries, unfortunately, if you guys didn't know, and I apologize for not reporting. Like I said, I've been I've been having a busy schedule, um. I had a busy schedule, so, um, uh, Marcelo picked up an injury, and the one of the second or the the, the B squad players. Um, Marvin Park picked up an injury, so they weren't able to make it to the squad this time around. But we got Daniel Carvajal back, so here's the here's the starting eleven that I would have, and I'm gonna break down what Real Madrid and the Valencia matchup means um, after their previous matchup and what Real Madrid can do better. So Daniel Carvajal, Rafael Varane, Nacho Fernandez, and Ferlin Mendy will get the start. Um, but however. I would not be surprised. Now, hear me out. I would not be surprised if Victor Chust or Miguel Gutierrez step in just because they don't probably want to rush um, Dani Carvajal back too too much too soon. Um, like I said, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but be prepared to see either of those two guys um, either start or co have come in off of a first substitution for Dani Carvajal. But the midfielders are as follows, which is easy now that Tony Cross is back. Tony Cross, Luca Modric, Casemiro. Those are the three midfielders. Nothing's going to change there. Tony Cross is, has served his one game suspension for the accumulation of red cards, or sorry, yellow cards. So no change there. Um, welcome back, Tony Cross. And then the forwards, Karim Benzema, Marco Asensio, and Lucas Vasquez will. Probably get the start. Vinicius Jr. will come on as a substitution. And that's how I have it for tomorrow. So the game is actually tomorrow at 10.15 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. I do want to let you guys know that um, my recording, I'm going to watch the game later. later, um, Just because I have church at that time. But um, So I'm, I'm not going to miss church just to watch a soccer game. I'm not. Um, church comes first. Um, spirituality comes first. Um, so, uh, like, so be prepared to have like the game reaction, like mid, like later in the afternoon, like around three p.m. Eastern, four p.m. Eastern. Um, just so that way I can jot down my notes and stuff like that for the game. Um, so. Let's talk about this Valencia Real Madrid matchup. If you guys recall, the last time Real Madrid faced off against Valencia, Valencia embarrassed Real Madrid. It was in that month, that November month, where Real Madrid, or I think was I think it was the end of the October month, um, where Valencia, um, embarrassed Real Madrid with four to one. But you got to remember, Valencia. Had three penalties. Now, this game, Real Madrid cannot have mistakes. They cannot, you know, afford mistakes. Because, like I said, this squad is thin as it is. 
Uh, injuries are piling up. I'm going to be discussing the injury bug for Real Madrid. Check this out. 35 players, Real Madrid alone this season for Real Madrid. 35 injuries all around for Real Madrid this year. And I'm going to break down um, each of those, even to the backups. Here, Because here's the, I, Marcelo got hurt last game, you know, suffered some discomfort, so did Marvin Park, and he's a B-Squad player, but, um, like I said, I'm going to be diving deep in later videos today, I'm going to be recording a lot today, um, this will actually be my first video of, of the day, um, the Real Madrid Valencia match preview for their second game, but, um, like I said, Real Madrid needs to redeem that four to one embarrassment that Real Madrid that they suffered back in Mestalla at Valencia, and this is a home game, so expect to have a better performance. Um, now that the original or somewhat of the original cast, excluding Sergio Ramos, is back, um, like I said though, I wouldn't be surprised if those guys coming off of the injuries would not finish the full 90 minute game expect maybe some substitutions towards the end um so this is a chance for Real Madrid to redeem that four to one game um Valencia has been up and down this year really for a team that should be at the top of the towards the top of the table hasn't been the same team that they have been this year I think they're like towards the middle of the pack but you never know. Real Madrid has had trouble with teams all throughout this year that are in the middle of the pack. Recently, though, they've been able to handle certain situations. Will they be able to handle certain situations today? We'll have to wait and see. Um, they were able to um, handle Getafe. They were able to have an incredible comeback against um, Huesca. But this is Valencia. And Valencia has always been a tough opponent for Real Madrid in the past decade and a half that I have watched soccer or, you know, European soccer games. So I expect Real Madrid to, ha Real Madrid to have a tough time. I think Real Madrid can win this game. I think they can. Um, will they embarrass Valencia like Valencia embarrassed them? No, I don't think so. Um, Real Madrid is not too healthy. Or they don't have the necessary talent to do so. I don't think so. So I think Real Madrid is going to come away with a win today. I say Real Madrid wins. Two. No. One to zero. I think Real Madrid wins this one to zero. Um, that back four somehow is able to. Sh is going to shut down Valencia. Um, the only. Like I said. The only thing that Real Madrid needs not to do is commit fouls, make stupid mistakes um, to the point where they afford penalties because Real Madrid is the most team to have penalty kicks scored on them. They have allowed seven penalties. They have eight penalt a combined of eight penalties, and Thibaut Courtois, out of those eight penalties, has only been able to save one of those. Other than that, the teams have been able to score the most um, that they have had in a single game was that Valencia game where they had, I think it was like four penalties, but I think it wasn't a Thibaut Courtois save, but I think it was a miss on the Valencia side. Um, but they were able to score three of those, and that's what set Real Madrid out, out. So this is what Real Madrid needs to do, not commit mistakes for this game, and Real Madrid should be fine. But like I said, 1-0, Let's see if Real Madrid's semi-healthy squad can find a way to make this happen, make get a win for Real Madrid. The backups have impressed. The young squad has impressed the last week. Can these veterans, now that they are back somewhat healthy, step up? We're going to have to wait and see. So let me know what you guys think about this game for this matchup preview. Do you think Real Madrid have enough talent to come away victorious? Let me know, like I said, in the comments. Um, if you're new to my channel and you like what you hear, please subscribe to my channel. Um, like this video so that way the algorithm can 
uh, grow as well help me grow my channel like this video share this video comment turn on post notifications so that way you know when i drop a new video about washington football team or real madrid or um european or nfl in general and i will see you guys next time until then keep it real guys peace